More than 90% of the world's internet traffic passes through subsea cables. Google has a leading role in building that capacity. Guam plays a part in landing those cables, which in turn will help bridge the digital divide throughout the Pacific. Google Vice President of Global Networks Brian Quigley announced the construction of two new undersea cables from Guam to Fiji and to French Polynesia. This is, this is a large global investment, uh, certainly not just Google and the government partnerships between Guam and the United States and Australia. Guam's uh, geographical presence and long history as a digital hub uh, are critical uh, for its foundation as a node in this initiative. For Guam, the cables are expected to greatly increase internet connectivity speeds and reduce latency. And Governor Leon Guerrero says that should also translate into a number of other benefits. There's going to be a lot of economic, I think, uh, investment going forward, knowing that this is going to, Guam's going to be a place that will have this quick, rapid internet uh, uh, information system. I also do know that it will also create jobs, uh, and these would be uh, high professional paying jobs. We will see more of our people going into coding, programming, uh, and so forth, uh, which I think just, again, gives them a better uh, income wage level and capacity. Google's Quigley says there are more than 500 subsea cables that provide critical connectivity throughout the globe. He suggests the more, the better, as diversity is a key to ensuring that the vital access is preserved. It's not just about connecting Guam to the U.S. or Guam onward to Taiwan and the Philippines. If we can then connect um, Guam to Fiji, and Fiji has an alternate path to the U.S., so if the, the Guam get, uh, cable gets cut, it can route down to Fiji and throughout. So we, we, we model and plan our network based on a statistical likelihood of outages, which includes things like 100-year events and, and weather factors that we haven't thought of. Google declined to discuss the cost of the projects, which are expected to be completed by 2026. Nestor Lecanto, KAYM News.